Beer chat day two, sit down, grab yourself a beer, enjoy the vibes. So yeah, uh, I haven't been recording many videos lately. That's just like a part of my own flaw as a human being. So, you know, but hopefully we'll have more videos coming out soon enough and we'll actually begin back into that flow of things. I was talking about it in the most recent coffee chat that I recorded, which was a few days ago, right? I just haven't uploaded it yet. I'm gonna be uploading it today, don't worry. Uh, but I was just talking about in that video how I wanted to get back into a consistent routine, and then I just didn't. And, you know, I'm not gonna try and force something that's not meant to be, I'd rather just get into that routine by natural order so you know we'll we'll hopefully be back like on track pretty soon oh my cat's just screaming at me from upstairs again she did this in the last beer chat tut it's okay i'm coming back in so yeah uh recent things that have happened is as you can see, I have got highlights in my hair now. I figured that just for the summer it would be like a pretty cool look. I mean, I did this last year too, but you know, like, it's summertime, might as well redo them. I haven't gotten a haircut yet. I meant to get a haircut next week, uh, just to like trim up the dead ends and all. So yeah, other cool things, new clothes. Uh, I really like this one because I have used the metaphor of the soul being a garden before, and this shirt literally says the soul's garden on the front, and it has like a poem on the back and shit. Oh. Well, you can't see the poem, but it's at like the butt end of like, well, it's over my ass, right? But <laughs> it has like a little poem on it that I think is pretty cool. Let these people know that I'd be poetic. <laughs> so yeah, uh, also today, I got a new Switch, because I used to have one, but I had to sell it off because my mother needs like money and shit, so you know, I sold it off to a friend, but today, I got a new one, and I am really excited for that, because I'm going to drink a couple beers and play Tears of the Kingdom, and that is going to be a very fun time. I also got new ideas for the uh, for the Bible reading videos. Uh, instead of like just reading through a chapter and just talking about what happens in that actual chapter, I'm actually gonna start talking about the Bible in the way that I read it and talk about like the lessons I have learned from reading it, which I think is gonna be a lot better, just because I can actually talk about the more spiritual lessons rather than just, oh yeah, all of this happened, right? Like, you get what I mean. Well, hopefully you get what I mean, right? But yeah, so, we're gonna be doing a lot of that. Uh, I'm very excited for the future of this channel. I, on the bus back home from where I was, I was just writing down like a bunch of video ideas. I got like 20 of them. And I'm really excited to go and like actually record most of them. Probably going to be doing that later on today. Uh, I just want to get out like and record this video right now because the sun is starting to set. And that exploration video, I, I gotta do that. Like it is, I've been promising that for too long now. Uh, I don't want to say tomorrow just because quite honestly I know me I know I'm probably gonna be lazy about it but you know we'll hopefully be able to actually have that up in a reasonable time period like hopefully before June ends I know that ultimately it's just about getting my ass out the door so I can actually go on the hike right but you know like I I am a flawed person I am 
not the most disciplined. I am, you know, I kind of procrastinate a lot. And I tend to find excuses to not do shit I don't want to do. But, you know, at some point, that discipline side does win. And it's like, alright, you have to do this now. And yeah. You can tell it's been a few days since I recorded a video. I'm just like, full of energy right now. I mean, that's also just because of, like, the day I've had. I've had a very good day. Like, I, I feel really good. I did, like, meditation and gratitude journaling for, like, the first time in, I don't even know how long, like, probably a week or so. And I just feel awesome. Like, I just feel great. I was reading, uh, well, after I was done praying, I read Job 33, verse 12 to verse 33. That's what the Bible reading that I'm going to be recording today is going to be about. Instead of, you know, Genesis chapter 29. Well, no, the, the Genesis video will be coming up, but tomorrow's Bible reading is going to be, you know, the Job one. Man, it, it's insane that I've gone back into that sort of schedule where it's like I have the Bible and coffee chats pre-recorded. Well, I don't have them recorded right now. Like, I don't have tomorrow's videos recorded right now. But hopefully after this beer, we'll be getting on that. And yeah, it's going to be sick. I have like a weird pain in my right shoulder. Like, it's just been hurting for the past few days. <laughs> probably just because of like lifting and shit I, like I'm gonna be taking a few more rest days than I normally would to like hopefully heal that up because I keep trying for like a new bench PR after I hit 90 just because like only 10 kilos more it's only 10 kilos more before I hit the two plates on bench and low key I'm kind of rushing it like, I keep, you know, pushing myself really hard to, like, hit 92.5. But hopefully after I rest up a bit, my chest will have enough time to, like, actually heal and, like, strengthen itself. And will actually be able to hit that big number. Well, 92.5, yeah. But, you know, like, that's a pretty big number for me as someone who was stuck at 60 kilos last year for like a good few months yeah it's a it's exciting times it's exciting times to be alive summer's here we're chilling we're having a good time Also, I didn't even say what beer I'm drinking. I'm drinking Asahi. Pretty good beer. Me and my mate, uh, when we went out to buy, like, the new clothes and all, uh, we went into Tesco just to, like, you know, find food and stuff because we were getting kind of peckish. And while we were in there, we looked in the offo, and I saw that they had a 12-pack of these. And normally, I can only find, like, four packs in the nearest offo to me. So, finding out that 12 packs of this beer exist was a mind-blowing discovery. Actually, hold on, while we're talking about recent things, I don't know if you can see, like, that. Yeah, you can definitely see that little burn on my nose. Uh, that's from trying to do a handstand after... Me and my mate went out because we went to the pub for like a few drinks after. And by the time we got home, like I wasn't drunk, like I wasn't completely fucked up. <sighs> Excuse me. I wasn't completely fucked up. But, again, excuse me, carbonate drink and my stomach don't really mix well. Uh, but 
You know, we... Well, once I got back to mine, I wasn't fucked up, but I was drunk enough to where I was like, yeah, I could probably do a handstand. So yeah, I tried to do that. I failed. <laughs> I ended up, like, getting carpet burn on my nose, which I didn't really think was ever a thing that was going to happen to me. But now we are. Now here we are, right? Like, I got the burn mark to prove it. And I ended up knocking over, like, all the shit on my sitting room table just because that's where I happened to fall, right? Like, it was so weird because I had my head, like, pressed down flatly against the ground just so, like, I could, you know, slowly lift myself up. And I was vertical for a few seconds. I was vertical for, not even a few seconds, like, I was vertical for half a second, but I was vertical for half a second. And then I realized, oh, I'm going down. I'm, I'm going down. And, yeah, I hit my legs off of the, uh, off the table, spilt over a few things on there, but, you know, I didn't feel, like, any pain, because I was that, like, I had that much alcohol in me, where it was, like, all right, the, the pain in me, like, my pain receptors are a little bit numbed, so I can, like, yeah, <laughs> realize that the pain in me is a little bit numbed was also a really funny thing to say, but, yeah, my pain receptors were, like, a little bit numbed, so I didn't really feel it. And thankfully, I didn't feel it the next day either. But yeah, I know. Life recently has been very fun. Like, been getting up to a lot of mischief and adventures. And somehow, at the same time, as getting up to all these mischievous, mischievous adventures... I feel like weirdly more like inclined to go closer to the Lord. And I think that's really sick. Like the fact that I'm having fun. I am sinning. I will say that. I am sinning. I want to try and cut that down just because I really don't want to be sinful. But the fact that I'm feeling more inclined to grow closer to the Lord is a pretty good sign for me. I mean, not that I haven't had that feeling over the past few months, but just that, you know, especially just right now, I suppose. Like, I don't know why. It just feels really cool knowing that my spirit is being called closer to its Father. And that one day I will just stop sinning and everything. And that's going to be, like, really good. I mean, not that I'll stop sinning. Like, I'll try my best. But ultimately, we as human beings are sinful. But it is with the efforts of God and ourselves that we can really try to depart from our sinful ways. And that actually brings me on to something that I learned today while in prayer, is that, well, all right, that didn't go out nearly as far as I thought it would. Uh, something I learned while I was praying today was that, well, I asked God to reveal to me, like, answers to questions that I haven't asked yet. And he told me that there's only so far that you can take yourself and I don't know, I just feel like that's a very important lesson for us to learn. Like, especially, like, even if you're not Christian, just know that there is only so far you can really take yourself. At some point, you're going to have to resort on others. And if you are Christian, we have to resort on God. And I don't know, just realizing that part, Realizing that God will take us the rest of the way. It's just up, us, up to us to meet him halfway. Is very good. Like that's a very good information to have. And yeah, like I want to. I want to get better at preaching the word and stuff. Just because. You know, I feel like. 
not only would that help others to, you know, grow closer to the Lord, but it would also help me grow closer to the Lord because I'm, you know, like, we all know that if you teach something, you, like, know more about it. Like, it's a weird thing, right? But if you try to teach someone a concept, you end up teaching yourself a bit more, too. So, by preaching the word of the God, the word of the Lord, right? I'll be able to grow closer to the Lord in that way. I don't know. Like, ultimately, I'm just trying to live in the present moment, take life as it comes, you get me? Like, I don't think there is anything much deeper to living than that. Besides, you know, like, a lot of things, right? But, you know, live, learn to live in the present moment was certainly, like, a big moment for me. Changed how I view a lot of things. Because, you know, you can't keep letting your thoughts, like, drag you down. You need to actually live. And the only way to live is to be in the present moment. God's name is not I was or I will be, it's I am. It's in the present. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm just like talking a bunch of stuff except for everything I said about the Lord, right? I, I hopefully do not tell lies about the Lord. But, you know, I am an inexperienced Christian. There's a lot for me to learn. I mean, that goes for life as well. Like, I give a lot of life advice on this channel. And the thing is, while I can see that it is having a positive impact on people, and like a lot of people comment that my videos are helpful to them, I ultimately know that I don't know shit, right? Like, I don't really know that much. I'm still inexperienced. I still have a lot to learn. I just try to tell people what I have learned so far, even if, you know, those things might change, like, especially in the future and all, right? But I just try to tell people those things in hopes that they can, like, it can help them get past the problems that I have faced, in a way. And, you know, I like to sort of view, like, my preaching of the word as kind of similar to that sort of like yeah I am inexperienced but here is the word here is the word itself I'm trying to like guide people towards it because I know ultimately like I may end up telling like I may end up mentioning in the video that like you know I follow the Lord that I'm I might end up mentioning that I am a Christian, that I end up mentioning like a, like a Bible phrase that has helped me a lot. And then someone else will hear that and they will be inclined to grow close to the Lord. And then they will go much farther than I ever could. You get me? Like I just want to try and like point people in a direction. And I'm not saying that the direction I point people in is necessarily correct, but I think it's a lot better than what most self-help like influencers try to do. And I suppose that is what I am, but you know, I try to point people in the, in the direction of growing into who they are rather than trying to lie to them and tell them to be like who I am. Like I, I like to think that my advice is more focused on helping people fully realize who they could be and like helping them to be them, not me. But yet again, a lot of my advo advice, a lot of my advice, a lot of my advice tends to boil down to just be kind to others, which I suppose that's good advice. Like everyone needs to be reminded of that every now and again.
beer is down. So yeah, that's everything I have to say today. Thank you for watching, and keep running when no one else is. <laughs> keep running when no one else is. Alright, see ya.